<clears throat> Hi everyone at Kaim. Let me introduce myself. My name is Christian Escobar. I'm from Sacramento and I'm attending American River College uh, as a first year student studying kinesiology. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank you all for the opportunity for me to be a part of your team, as well as taking time to record, to listen to my recording on such short notice. Uh, I'm aware that the deadline is September 7th. Um, so thank you for receiving my message on such notice, such short notice. Um, well, let me give you a bit of background information uh, about myself. Uh, in high school, I was a dedicated student athlete. Um, I started um, playing mainly aquatic sports like water polo and swim. Um, but, you know, growing up, I w was exposed to many sports, but none really stuck out as much as much as much as swimming did. Um, but as each season went by, I began injuring myself, not intentionally. Um, I began to begin. Uh, I began to build a consistent track record of at least one injury every six months or so. Uh, it began after I attended my first physical therapy lesson where I began to understand how people were able to repair um, certain parts of the body from a state where many athletes and people alike think that they can't recover from. Um, and my body has been treated, um, you know, with a number of practices from different professionals to help me um, on my journey as an athlete, which has, you know, allowed me to use that knowledge from those techniques and put them to practice and see real results from. I think my passion for self-care, um, I care for others and the journey towards staying active and growing physically fit um, I probably need to space that out. Pause. is what really excites me about physical therapy. Interning at Kime has been like a goal of mine ever since I had my first physical therapy session there. Uh, I had the distinct pleasure of working with two of your employees um, who have shown me that through dedication, uh, you know, patience, perseverance, um, and, and lots of practice, you can achieve whatever goal you set yourself to as it applies not just to physical therapy, but you know, everyday life. I believe that with the knowledge that I gained from this program, I would be able to better serve others and more importantly, teach others the importance of staying positive that you know injuries can heal. Uh, I'm a fast learner. I enjoy hands-on participation, um, whether it be in person or via zoom or you know remotely i have a fast i have experience teaching mainly kids um and young adults through uh camps about many things whether it be swim lessons um healthy eating habits staying active disciplining yourself um how to take care of your body basic things that you know i i was never taught as a kid um, and, you know, I, I've learned that over time it can, you know, better benefit younger generations. But um, I've also learned that it's it's never too late to try something new. I've had a range of students, you know, from uh, three year olds when I used to teach swim lessons to 70 year olds, um, someone, you know, a little older. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've always learned um, that, you know, no matter the age, um, it's possible to um, gain new knowledge all the time. Uh, but one final comment I want to add before um, I wrap, wrap up this video is um, I had a strength coach uh, during my high school season and, you know, primarily junior and senior year. Um, but I met him at the Kime facility on you know, Exposition Boulevard. He introduced me to his, 
his water polo strength program and was the most selfless trainer I've ever had. Um, he broke down the game of water polo and was the most um, most down to earth person I think I could say. He, he taught us the very basics of the human bodily movement and, and showed us what the fundamentals that are that 90% of water polo players and, and swimmers alike are lacking uh, in their performance. And he always, always took the time to answer uh, any questions that anybody had it and provide a one-on-one -on -one training. This was during COVID season, so that really helped a lot. Um, thanks to him, I've applied to about like 100% or really close to 100% of the activities that we did together. Um, he was kind of like, he's kind of like the person who tied the bow on the package. You know, I always was interested in in the practice of, of physical therapy, um, but and um, he kind of, you know, put it all together in a way that I enjoyed and I was hooked and I was determined to follow that same path. Um, his name is Brian, um, uh, I can't pronounce his last name really well. Uh, Sin Zikantin Cattle, Zikantin Cattle. Um, we always knew him as Coach X. Um, he's something I really, he's someone I really look up to, and was a huge mentor throughout the season of COVID. Uh, I hope he's doing well. But um, yeah, this wraps it up for my submission video. Thanks for listening again. Um, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you.